Hannah has been in the cabin for 10 years. It was her father, Nick, who attacked her. He was a top CIA operative. 10 years ago, he and his colleague Mary were in charge of experiments on genetically modified human beings. They removed embryos from fertilized eggs, removed fear and pity from their cells, and enhanced their muscle strength. They wanted to create the strongest warriors possible. Hannah's mother was Nick's test vessel. The two became lovers. Hannah was two years old when the lab was shut down. Mary wanted to eliminate all the subjects. Nick escaped with them, but Hannah's mother was shot and killed by Mary. He had to take Hannah to the Arctic Circle in the middle of nowhere. Mary blamed Nick for everything. Everyone in the CIA was looking for Nick. He trained Hannah every day for 10 years. He wanted her to avenge her mother's death. Hannah not only learned it to fight, she also learned it from Nick's books. That's how she learned it about the outside world. At night, Hannah quickly grasped her father, thinking she was capable of seeing the outside world. Nick found the signaling device. Once it flips the switch, Mary will come here with the CIA. One of them is bound to die. Hannah hesitates, then flips the switch. After they agreed on a meeting place, Nick left early. Hannah waited for her prey to show up. Soon the CIA locked down the location of the cabin. Two agents were killed by Hannah as soon as they entered. When the others entered, they found Hannah sitting on the floor. They thought Nick had killed the men and escaped. They took Hannah back to the CIA, where she was being held in a room full of cameras and mechanisms. She says she wants to see Mary, who won't risk her self-safety. She brought in a double to get close to Hannah. She wants to see what the girl is up to, and to see if her experiments back then worked. Hannah snaps the woman's head off when she's not looking, then quickly grabs the soldier's gun and goes on a killing spree. She quickly kills all the soldiers and breaks all the surveillance cameras and climbs into the tube. Hannah uses her keen sense of observation to evade her pursuers. When she passes by the material room, she takes her personal information with her. The girl escaped from the sewers to a deserted place. An armored car passes above her head. Hannah climbed into the last one. She couldn't hold on any longer and let go. After a long walk in this wasteland place, she found the Sophie family traveling by themselves. They invite Hannah to come with them, but she refuses, not wanting to involve them. She walked farther and finally found a water source where many people wash their clothes. Hannah steals a dress and changes into it and enters a nearby hotel. The owner took pity on her and allowed her to stay one night for free. Looking at the appliances she had never seen before she was very curious. Her hand touched it and was scalded by the steam. She pressed the switch as the owner did, but turned the TV on. The sound of a gunfight movie came on the screen and she was very frightened. She tried to get the remote control to turn the TV off but it did nothing. Then the phone started ringing. Panicked, Hannah went into the bathroom and flicked the switch. Hannah was terrified and quickly escaped from the room. She meets Sophie, who lives in the hotel. Sophie invites her to dinner and she agrees. Mary was excited when she saw Hannah's behavior on the monitor. Because her experiment was successful, she hires an assassin to kill Nick and wants Hannah's fighting skills to work for her. After dinner, Sophie realizes that Hannah has great personality and she lets Hannah sleep in a tent with her. She asks Hannah where she is going. Hannah replies that she's going to meet her father at a cabin and asks Sophie to keep it a secret. Sophie agrees and is overheard by her brother, who is next to her. The next day, Hannah travels with Sophie and her family. But just as they leave, Mary and her gang arrive at the hotel. They kidnap the owner and learn that Hannah has just left. Soon Mary's caravan caught up with them. Hannah decides to lure the enemy away alone so as not to involve them. Hannah was chased by a group of agents to a pier. Unable to defeat them, she had no choice but to jump into the sea. A few days later, she arrives at a cottage where the owner is friendly and does magic tricks. She waited for her father to arrive. Mary didn't catch Hannah, so she abducted Sophie and her family. Sophie didn't give up any information when questioned. Mary comes to her brother and tells him she's a good person and is here to help Hannah. The brother is deceived by her and reveals the secret that she is going to the cabin. Soon they arrive at the cottage and Hannah quickly goes into hiding. They ask the owner of the hut where Hannah lives. The old man doesn't answer. Mary immediately killed the old man and began to search the place. Hannah, hiding under the bed. Here's Mary talking about the experiment. Nick is not her father and Hannah is just an experiment. Mary had been sitting on the bed, but suddenly bent down and realized that there was no one under the bed. The agile Hannah had already grabbed the bottom of the bed. Mary searched the cabin in vain and left. Then Nick arrived at the cabin. Hannah was very emotional to see him again, because Nick was one of the researchers in the human experiment. There were more than 20 pregnant women in the experiment, and Hannah was the only one who survived. Her father, whom she had trusted for years, had been an accomplice, despite Nick's explanation that it was Mary who decided to terminate the experiments and kill the pregnant women. Hannah fights with Nick. She tries to leave Nick, but Mary and the others return. Nick tells Hannah to run away and he stays behind to deal with them. He was soon wounded and Mary pointed a gun at him. The moment Hannah hears the gunshot, 
She has mixed emotions and falls to her knees. She quickly runs back to the hut, pulls the arrow from the old man's body and starts to run. Mary was in hot pursuit. She goes the other way and runs into Hannah. Mary walks out slowly and she threatens Hannah to stop. Hannah persuades her to stop. She doesn't want to kill anyone else, but Mary raises her gun anyway. In a moment of desperation, Hannah pierces the muzzle of her gun with a bow and arrow. Both were wounded. Hannah had been told, since she was a child, to shoot through the heart of her prey. She stood up, picked up her pistol, and aimed it at Mary's heart. She is about to fulfill her revenge. This is the end of this movie. We'll see you next time.